which equation most closely represents the line of best fit. So we can enter all this into the calculator, but that'd be super tedious. I'm just going to graph these lines. Um, so y equals x. All right, you can see y equals x, so all the points where y and x are equal is not even close. This is the line y equals x. It's really an unbalanced line of fit. Okay, that one's out. Now we have two-thirds, three-halves. Uh, let's do two-thirds plus one. So graph that in blue. So here's one, and the slope of two-thirds just means up two over three. Up two over three, up two over three. You can see that this, this slope uh, brings us a line that is even worse than y equals x, and that was y equals two-thirds x plus one. All right, so it's going to be one of these two. Let's try the next one. y equals three-halves x plus four. So four is the y-intercept. Three-halves means that's a slope up three over two, up one, two, three over two. And this line actually also looks terrible. So I'm hoping choice four is the closest, but if it's if it's not, right, if it's also worse off, we'll pick one of the, one of the less we'll pick the lesser evil out of the ones we're given. Okay, so three halves x plus one. So here we'll graph this one in green. So again the plus one is the y intercept we're here and it's three halves. So it's up three, one, two, three, over two. Up one two three over two, up one two three over two. Okay, so if we connect these dots, I think we get a much better fit. Um, you know, the red line, the y equals x. It's only these two points down here are pretty close to it, but everything else is really far away. The green line is somewhat balanced between the points, uh, and in fact, I don't really feel like any of these are really the line of best fit, and would be surprised if they were. But I would say that the this green line here is closer than any other one, so I'm going to pick four.